Welcome to the Houghton Lake Public Library's series on using Apple iPad and other Apple devices. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the things you'll see on your main screen, as well as how to rearrange apps, delete apps, and use your quick access tray. When you look at your main screen, you'll see that you've got a bunch of different apps on there. One thing that's important to note about your primary screen here is that you actually have more than one of them. If we swipe to the side, we can see that we have more apps over here. If you look near the bottom, you can see these four dots, and this indicates which screen you're on. You can see the leftmost dot is white, while the other three dots are gray. This indicates that we're on the leftmost screen, making this the most primary of the screens. If we swipe with our finger from right to left, we move over to the next screen, and you can see that that white dot at the bottom has now moved to the second position. We can do that for the third and fourth positions. It's also important to note that if you're not uh, super comfortable with the swiping, you can actually just tap in order to switch these screens. So if we tap our finger on the left side of these dots, you'll see that we move one position to the left. If we tap again, one more. If we tap again, one more. Similarly, we can tap on the right side to move the screen to the right. In order to rearrange your apps, so perhaps you'd like them in a different order, you can tap and hold on an app. So I'm going to tap and hold on the Chrome app here. And you'll see that all the apps start to kind of shake as I move it around. And I can drag it around. Say I position it in the top left. And then when I release, I can just go ahead and tap anywhere on the screen. And now it's set. So again, I'll do that one more time. So I'll Tap and hold on the App Store, and then begin to drag it around. Move it to where I want. Release. And then tap in a blank spot on the screen. If you'd like to delete an app, it's a similar process. Let's find an app on here I'm okay with deleting. And let's delete the YouTube app. So I'm going to tap and hold on YouTube. And you'll see I get this menu here. And I can hit Delete App. It's going to ask me if I'm sure. I'm going to go ahead and tap delete. And it's gone. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to use the App Store, and we can get that app back. And one last thing that we'll look at today is the quick access tray down at the bottom. You'll see at the bottom, there's, um, there's a bar. It's got five apps on the left side, and then a line, and then three apps on the right. The three apps on the right are determined just by the apps that you open most often. Uh, the iOS device will just determine which apps you're using the most and automatically put them there for easy access. The five on the left you can manually control. So let's say we would like the Chrome app again to always be on the bottom here. So I'm going to tap and hold Chrome. Oops. Accidentally opened it. So I'm going to tap and hold Chrome. Start dragging it around. And I'm going to drag it, let's see, to right here. And now we can see, again, we can tap anywhere to get these apps to stop shaking. And now the Chrome app is in the bottom. And this is helpful because it's now always on the screen. It doesn't matter which page we're on. So if I go to the next page over, the second page, the third page, the fourth page, that Chrome app is now always on the bottom. So for apps that you use frequently, you can drop them in there. And this concludes today's look at some of the features of iOS for your Apple iPad and other devices. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to be notified for future content. Thank you and have a great day.